Hi everyone, this is Majid, Digital Curation Specialist at One Public Libraries. And today we are going to make something very cool. A cute cat on Tinkercad. You can practice some tools and techniques we've learned before and customize your cat in any color or shape you want. Let's start it. I use this file, CaliCat. Uh, downloading from Thingiverse several times to test uh, the 3D printer at the library and uh, it, it's very cute as you see the different images of the cat it's really cute and uh, uh, so many customers and colleagues ask me about that I mean talk, we talked about uh, how cute it is and uh, uh, some people uh, love to do some modification changing that adding uh, for example wording to that so they showed interest to modify this file uh, so i thought that probably it's a it's a good practice to try to design it again i'm not following the exact uh, sizes on the file but you can see uh, all informations are here you can follow this information if you wanted to make exact design like this uh, but I'm just following in general this design uh, and try to make it another time my main purpose is practicing what uh, we've learned on uh, Tinkercad different shapes and features tools on uh, Tinkercad uh, to make something so it doesn't matter if the final project is exactly the same of this design or not um, my goal is different but if you wanted to follow the exact design all the informations are here you can just go to uh, thingiverse and search for calicat and see the dimensions and everything related to that so let's go to uh, tinkercad as usual it's obvious that we need to start uh, with a cube a box so I'm bringing a cube then go and uh, use a roof for uh, making ears these ears I changed the work plane just for putting the ear on the top of the area. It is a simple way, but you can do other techniques you've learned before. It looks good to me. I can change the color of this ear to something more relevant. Uh, going to you uh, to make a duplicate. Control D and flip it. Group the right here with the the box. And then align the second one. Uh, 
that would be the body of the cat I'm changing the color to again something close to the colors and going to make <coughs> uh, legs duplicate the leg and select both and duplicate them For making neck, I'm going to use a primit. Uh, definitely part of that, not all. Align them. Select both, group them. Just uh, duplicate, control D, and uh, flip the duplicate. And make it coming uh, on top. them I'm going to put the neck on the top of the body so just Seems that it's good. Group them again. And it's solid. And the last one is adding the head on the top of the neck. So again, click D to bring it up. Change the work plane again. Bring it on the top. Select all and align. Now this is the time for making tail. So I'm using the box. I'm just uh, change it to something like five by five. Duplicate, rotate, and move it.
probably is too big. Changing it to 15. Duplicate again. Rotate in. Rotate in uh, 45 degrees. Bring it up. Probably this one is let little bit big. Change it to 10, and then move it like this. So the last part is adding eyes, nose, and I mean making the face. I'm leaving that part for you because it's totally up to you what do you want to use. Use your creativity to make something different. And remember that there are lots of shapes. You can add those shapes. For example, for a nose, you can use a roof as a nose or a cone as a nose so it's totally up to you i hope you enjoyed the design and please don't follow exact uh, you know sizes and shapes i use you can use your own creativity to make something totally different i hope you enjoyed watching this video we would love to share your designs with others Please remember to use VPL at home hashtag to help us with sharing. See you soon.